So here are some more things that you can do with Microsoft Word. I have already typed up a few things onto a Word document and now I'm going to show you some things that we can do to create different looks. So the first thing you can do is you can decide on the type of font you want. So I can highlight this and I can choose the type of font and as I go through it you can see in the background that it starts to change quite a bit. So when you go through this, the top fonts are typically the ones that you've used recently. A very common font is the Comet Sans that are used in a lot of the websites for eBus. Um, but there are tons of different fonts available for you and you should try them out and choose a font that you prefer or maybe emphasize with different ones. So in this case, I think I'm going to choose the comic. And the other thing that I can do is I can decide on the size. It will default to the size 11. And as we get bigger, um, so does our font. And it shows you as you go over the numbers. So if you're trying to do something more in a poster size, you're probably looking at a 28 to 36 size. For uh, your teachers, you might consider a size 12 to 14. If you go smaller than that, it gets very difficult to read. So if we go down to an 8, that's quite small for uh, most of your teachers who have kind of tired eyes from looking at things all the time. Another thing that you can do is you can change the color. So maybe I might emphasize this first part and choose the color. And they have some automatic colors. They also have the ability for you to go in and customize your colors as well. So you can move this, this little um, spot all over and say, OK, I like that. And I actually want it in this shade. And so I go OK. And then I get that color. Um, some other things to know, you can highlight text. So if you get a Word document and you're supposed to highlight the things that might not be right, you can go to a highlighter and you can choose what color. And as you go across, you can see. So some are going to work better than others. Typically, we use our brighter colors like yellow. And other things that we might use uh, include things like bullets. So here's a list. Many lists require bullets. So I might highlight there and then I choose the bullets and it will bullet like that. You can choose other types. Maybe you want some colors so you choose, choose those as bullets. And notice how they bring the words together closer. Um, the other thing that we can do is we can choose to decide are we going to uh, left justify or are we going to center it or right justify. Typically, we're going to left justify and uh, we can indent typically by using a tab key. But um, indenting isn't quite as important as it used to be because of the way web pages have been developed. I uh, can also decide that I'm going to put in a title by choosing the title bar. And if I just put my cursor over, I can see quite a variety of different types of titles to put in there. So you need to go through and decide what do you like the best. Let's see, I'm going to choose that one. And it puts it in for you. Sometimes um, we need to be able to use superscripts and subscripts for things like math and science. So if I highlight it, what I can do is I can make it a superscript by clicking on the two. Now sometimes I actually need in, in uh, cases of say um, writing out a formula for science for example CO2 I can make it a subscript just like that. Other things to know is that we can go to the insert and there are some equations that you can choose uh, some default ones so if I go there, I can find um, some different ones. So I want the area of a circle in there. And you can put that in. And I wonder if you can put in the, a, a 3 in there for the radius. And it will show you. And I might want to make that to the left side. We can also insert symbols. So I go to the insert. I choose the symbols, and in this case, I might want